This is what we have, again, global geoengineering, the ever-changing experiment, and we are, again, part of that experiment. Russian scholar warns of secret U.S. climate change weapon. We have Russia engaged in this as well. We also have China, and this is one of the reasons why it's so hard to get any sort of mainstream coverage, because the big players are all involved up to their eyeballs. So uh, that, that's one of the reasons the uh, media coverage is so sparse, but it's coming. What do weather weapons do? They wreak havoc in countries without anybody knowing they're even under assault. In the case of floods, droughts, all of this is a form of weather weaponry and weather warfare. And there is no arguing that we are all a part of weather warfare when our climate is being impacted the way it is right now. Again, countries around the globe, this sort of impact, nobody would recognize as being an assault. And that's what's so prized about weather warfare for the powers that be. Nobody even knows they're being attacked. Bridges, infrastructure, wiped out. You can literally bring a country to its knees. You can bring a state to its knees as well, especially a state that doesn't seem to want to conform too much with the federal government. You can drought, drought them out completely. And that's exactly what's happening in California right now. This sort of drought in Africa has been used for decades. We know these programs have been going on, and their impact in Africa appears to be directly related to bringing countries to their knees and opening up the door for U.S. occupation. You have U.S. boots on the ground in about 156 countries around the globe. Not singling out the U.S. because other countries, again, as I said, are at this as well. Empty reservoirs. This is where California is headed today. I think we all know that. If we, if we reach the end of this year without significant rainfall, we will be in free fall into a cataclysm that's never before been recorded. Our forests are going up in flames. As geoengineering impacts the system from top to bottom, it starts to feed itself. As you cut off the moisture for boreal forests, which are the lungs of the planet, the terrestrial lungs of the planet, and they begin to burn, that feeds into the entire climate cycle and begins to tilt it even further off scale. So this is a non-linear equation. Once it starts to tilt, it tilts faster and faster. These sorts of clouds historically have not been well recorded. Now they are. This sort of sky that many begin, many have become accustomed to and think is somehow normal is anything but. This is, this is an aerosol coverage that all of you seem to have seen before. And many people have begun to accept this as being natural, but it takes a lot of material to block the sun to that degree. And all that material is settling down on all of us. We're all breathing it in. Anybody who thinks that's commercial traffic uh, is in a So here's what we got here, we got something. This is, uh, we got probably 20 mile an hour wind, west wind. Those clouds are staying still. These are electromagnetic dust clouds. They're plasma clouds. You can see the lightiness to them. Here comes a sprayer right now spraying the electromagnetic uh, geoengineering dust um, materials right there.